Hi, welcome to this hands-on session on Snowflake. By the end of this video, you would have learned how to insert data into a topic, how to connect your Kafka with your Snowflake and how to stream data from your Kafka topic into a Snowflake table. If you remember that when creating the fs underscore connect file, we set the Snowflake schema name to Kafka live streaming. Let's create it now. Go to your Snowflake account and inside your worksheet, type create schema and give the name Kafka underscore live underscore streaming and run it. Refresh your database and you will see that the schema is created. Now we will actually convert our Kafka server with our Snowflake account and make sure that your Zookeeper server and the Kafka server are running on local machine. But before that, let's use the created schema. Inside your Kafka folder, open a new command prompt. And once the command prompt is open, write the command to create a new topic and in place of sales dash data, enter sales data. You also need to change this topic name in your sf underscore connect file for the topics data and for topic to table mapping. Press enter and your sales data topic will be created. In order to write the data into the topic, use the console producer command and mention your topic name and once you press enter you will be prompted to enter the data. I am going to insert the data in the form of JSON having three attributes name, age and car. Once you are done with writing the data, press ctrl and c you will be prompted to enter y or n, press y and you will move out of the console right. Once the topic is created and the data is loaded, uh, open a new command prompt to connect the Kafka with the Snowflake in order to start streaming. In the new command prompt, enter the command to open a new file which is connect-standalone.bat file and along with this file open two other files which is the connect-standalone.properties file and the sf-connect file that we previously created that contains the configurations. The files connect standalone.properties and sfconnect.properties are very important because they contain the configurations for connecting the Kafka with the Snowflake. Upon executing, it will take some time for streaming the data and after a file, your streaming will be done. Now, let's verify this streaming in Snowflake. Go to your Snowflake account and refresh the databases then navigate to the table and you will see that the sales data table is created but right now it does not have any rows in it. Streaming data from Kafka to Snowflake will take some time. Refresh it again and then you will see that one row has been inserted into your sales data table. Let's view this data. Move to your worksheet and type the command select all from sales data. Upon running, you will see that the data that we inserted into our topic has been successfully streamed from Kafka into the Snowflake table. And this is how you can pass data from your Kafka running on your local system to your Snowflake account. Thank you.